Hello everyone, this is Lobby Designs here, and um, I am coming to you today with the, uh, f I, I think, fifth part of the uh, Demon series. So, um, also I'm a bit sick at the moment, um, it's really hot in Australia, um, it's the weekend, and I've just been really shy, I haven't been able to go to the beach or anything because I'm just sick, stuck at home, um, but I'll jump right into the tutorial. Um, so yeah, um, the, whoa, okay. <laughs> Alright, in this one, um, we'll be doing K Collision. So, as always, just have this, uh, just have this basic circle emitter. Um, I'll just play it for you guys so you can see what happens. Nothing happens. Just kind of hits the ground and then fizzles out, does whatever. Um, but we will add this uh, demon here. So, we are doing, yeah, so one, two, three, four, five. So, it is the fifth one, and it is called K Collision. Now, it is much like uh, a lot of the other ones. Um, it basically uh, makes it, you can either make them delete or multiply when they, in this case, hit something. So, for the settings, you want to go to all objects, uh, change that to, oh, actually, depending on how many objects you have. So, I only, I only have one plane object. So, I'll just demonstrate it for you. So, you go to select your objects, hit plane, hit OK. Then, if, since I only have one, I can just had, um, have all objects ticked, so that's fine. Um, if you want it to delete, then just have split set on no. Then I'll just simulate this, and when it hits that, they will just all delete. Now, that's basically it. That's pretty simple. Um, but now we'll get on to the, uh, the, the, the split part of it. So, as you all probably know, this will make it uh, split, so I'll, I'll put it on 4, hit reset, and then simulate. Now, you'll see when it hits the ground, it, each particle splits into 4. Now, this could be good for... Okay, so something has... I think I need to change my uh, max substeps, because it's... Uh, making things go down here it's glitching a bit uh, but as you can see I might actually put it on I'll just put it on two because I had it on two before and that kind of gave a bit of a better result but you could have this for uh, maybe popcorn or something um, or well, actually you probably use cage for popcorn but yeah you can see here so each particle that when it hits it makes two and each one that becomes two of that, makes two when it hits the ground. So you basically just have kind of infinite particles. So, yeah, I guess that's just a, a nice kind of thing to have there, to have there going. I don't, uh, can't really see any uh, use for this, I guess, at the moment. Um, I guess if you were using the delete thing or maybe foam again, um, or something like that, you could uh, have something on, on those lines, I guess. But you are going to have infinite particles unless you just chuck a keyframe here. So you so you notice here if I just so if I go to here, then put uh, go to split, add key, then I go ahead a few frames, turn that off, hit add key, then if I go back to here and hit simulate, you'll see that it stop splitting and they're all um they're all fine and, and dandy and stuff um but yeah so that's basically all of the uh tutorial uh if you liked it um sorry i'm yeah i'm really sick but um yeah anyway so if you like just remember to subscribe like favorite uh check out my demon um that's why you're watching but just check out the uh playlist Check out the um, Cinema 4D Effectors uh, series. Check out the Cinema 4D tutorial and the Real Flow tutorials. And um, as always, I'll see you guys later. Um, just message me if you would like anything done or if you have any ideas. And um, yeah, so I'll see you guys in two days. Bye-bye.